drumstechlab.com under IIM Calcutta Innovation Park. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today here we are introducing you with a fascinating product from DJI and Flood. That is the Zenmuse XT Thermal Camera, which is widely being used in sectors like defense, wildlife and power lines for surveillance purposes. Now let's see how to distinguish between the 16 different configurations of this Zenmuse 60 Thermal Camera from its model number. The first three characters here stands for the product name, which is Zenmuse 60 itself. The fourth character here stands for resolution, which comes two different types. A stands for 640 by 512, B stands for 336 by 256, which differs in the image quality a bit because it indicates the sensor size of the Zenmuse 60 thermal camera. And the fifth and the sixth character indicates the lens option which has five different types. 06 indicates 6.8 mm, 07 indicates 7.5, 09 9mm, 13, 13 mm and 19 mm. As you can see, the most widely used lenses among this is the 13 and the 19 mm lenses. The seventh character stands for the frame rate, which has two types, F, 30 hertz, fast, and the S, 9 hertz, slow. But not to worry, the fast and slow doesn't affect the image quality in the camera. It only indicates the pictures taken per second. And the 30 hertz is only allowed in USA and the 9 hertz for the rest of the world. The last and the final character stands for the camera type, which is performance and radiometry. And this I'll explain in details for you to determine which is best suited for your purpose. I'll give an example for this. Suppose there is a fire breakout in an oil pipeline due to oil leakage. The firefighter will look for the rescue operation, whereas the thermal engineer will look for the exact cause of fire and leakage. For the thermal engineer will need the exact temperature gradient for this purpose. But the firefighter will need the exact temperature difference where he can perform his rescue operation. The radiometric camera will be useful for the thermal engineer, whereas the performance camera will be useful for the firefighter for detecting the temperature gradient where he has to perform his rescue operations. That is the particular difference in usage and application of these two types of cameras. Moreover, it has two similarities. The similarities are in both the cameras has a spot meter and the image quality is quite similar in both the types of cameras. But the differences lie in the thermal precision as I've said in the example and the pixel to pixel count of the radiometric camera. Due to which the radiometric camera is also on the higher side of the cost. Now let's discuss a few more intricate details about the DJI Zenmuse XT Thermal Camera. It is an uncooled box microbolometer that is being used for the thermal imager. It is a detector for thermal images which was developed for the US military. Now I have already said about the digital display formats. It's two formats as you can see here. And now let's discuss the pixel pitch. The pixel pitch stands for the sensor size. The sensor has a pixel which is the light receptor. The more the pixel size, the light receptor is good and the, sense, uh, the picture quality is quite a high one. And here the pixel size you can see is 17 micron. And generally the cameras do have a pixel size of 2 to 4 microns. But here it is 17 microns, it shows that how good a camera is this. Now next comes the frame rates. The frame rates I have already said it is 2 types, 30 hertz and 9 hertz initially. And now you can see it is 30 hertz NTSC. The NTSC, let me explain, it is the National Television Systems Committee, the full form of NTSC. It was developed in the US and they used the 30 frames per second rate for the films. And that is the reason 30 hertz is developed and used in US. Whereas the rest of the world uses PAL configuration, the phase or during line PAL configuration, whether 25 hertz or lesser is used. And therefore, the 9 hertz camera is used in the rest of the world other than the US. The next is sensitivity. As you can see, it's measuring NETT. And NETT is, uh, refers to as the noise equivalent differential temperature. It is the delta T of the DT. So the noise equivalent differential temperature is the determinant factor for the LWIR and MWIR for thermal cameras. And here in the Zenmuse XT, you can see it is less than 50 millikelvin at F1.0. It is the function of the focal length of the camera and this is the resolution up to which the camera can resolve an image. The next comes the photo format. The photo format is of two types, JPEG, the 8-bit as you can see, and TIFF, 14-bit as you can see here. 
The video format is MP4 and the digital zoom, the difference between the two video formats here is in the digital zoom. The 640 by 512 video format has a digital zoom of 8x which is an add-on whereas the 336 by 256 video format has a digital zoom of only 2x and 4x. And the lens option already explained to you. The lens option is 7.5, 9mm, 13mm and 19mm case, case of this digital format of 640 and 512. Whereas here you don't get the 7.5mm lens option whereas the rest 6.8, 9 and 13 and 19mm lens option is available. This DJI Zenmuse XT thermal camera can be used with two of the DJI drones that is the Inspire 1 V2 and the Matrix series drones. And how to integrate with these drones and the apps to be used along with the drones with, for the best results will be shown to all of you in the upcoming videos in this Zenmuse XT video series. Hope we from the dronestechlab.com team were able to convey the details of the DJI Zenmuse XT thermal camera for you to make a sound choice. For more technical and commercial details, find the links in the description below. So it's a wrap for the day and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further updates.